We're back with The Bigger Picture. And it's not just the light bulbs. Our investigation reveals there's something else in your home you can't even see that could be making you sick. Here's part two, electric shock. So let's have a look Go over towards your sleeping area here. See, my meter starts to tick. That means we're getting into an electric field. So what's causing the electric field? Holy moly. That's your lamp. My lamp? Kevin Byrne is searching for something in Rose's house he thinks could make her sick. Okay, you've got a reading of uh, over 800, 700 uh, gram stats or units. It really should be below 50. So, <laughs> so this is measuring the amount of radio frequency radiation riding on this circuit in your bedroom, which is turning this lamp here into a radio frequency transmitter. Putting this electric energy into the air because you have a lot of dirty electricity. There's that term, dirty electricity. It's something you'll hear Kevin say all the time. He thinks dirty electricity is, is affecting people. Sleep, uh, achy joints, pain, uh, a feeling of anxiety, stress, electro stress I like to call it. People charge up. They have all this surrounded by all these wires and electronics all day. He's testing energy levels. So what's in your house, what's outside your house. These days we're surrounded by all sorts of electronic stuff. Appliances, power lines, cell phones, Wi-Fi, Kevin measures for all of it. Compact fluorescent light bulbs, plugs, even baby monitors. <laughs> Rose is raising two young children and suffering from lupus. She wants her house checked out top to bottom, worried if modern conveniences are affecting her family. Okay, again, we're measuring the electric field being emitted by this alarm clock. This is one reason that you shouldn't have uh, an AC-powered clock near your bed because it's emitting an electric and magnetic field. Wow. And as you can see, that field's coming all oh, about four or five feet from that clock. Okay? And same with your wiring here. Can you hear your wiring? Yes. That's why you shouldn't have any wiring around your bed because of the electric field and the magnetic field. If I switch it to the magnetic setting, it still screams. Wow. It's very frustrating, because you know, our home is supposed to be our castle, like, supposed to keep us safe, and to know that our home is making us sick, you know. It's, uh, it's disgusting. It's scary. You know, I have two children in the house, and if that stuff, if it, it is what it is, if it's, that is doing that to me, what is it going to do to my kids? You know, we don't know. So what is dirty electricity? To try and find out, we asked expert Dr. Magda Havis. Dirty electricity refers to high frequencies that um, flow along an electrical wire, and it's generated by any kind of electronic device that isn't properly filtered. Then we asked Robert Bradley, Health Canada's Director of the Radiation Protection Bureau. Quite frankly, I don't know. I don't understand uh, this issue of dirty, dirty electricity. Uh, quite frankly, it seems to be something that is... Uh, uh, not well understand or not well accepted by the general science community. Um, certainly it's proposed by, by a, a small group of individuals and, and the link or, or, or yes, the link to th it as a cause of, of health concern again is, uh, is not clear, clear to me. The health concerns are called electromagnetic hypersensitivity, being sick from all the electronic stuff and what it gives off. And there's a fierce debate about it. The World Health Organization says it exists, but scientists and doctors disagree if it can make people sick. The syndrome is called electrical hypersensitivity. That doesn't mean the rest of us aren't sensitive. It just means that we're not um, showing any symptoms. And we think perhaps 3% of the population has a very major response uh, to this form of dirty power. There is a, a, a subpopulation who claim uh, what is known as electromagnetic hypersensitivity and these people experience real con real 
uh, symptoms, headaches, as you as you describe, and so forth. But the issue for us and for science in general is is the attributability of this to exposure to EMFs. Again, regardless of the source. About a thousand microwatts right now. Okay, at about four feet. So if you have that on your desk in your office, you're going to be getting dosed with that all day long. That's horrible. The German government recommends its citizens not use Wi-Fi or wireless at home or at work to reduce personal radiation exposure. Health Canada doesn't think that's necessary for Canadians. Our recommendations will come as, as the science evolves. But at this point in time, the current guidelines as they stand uh, are quite protective of uh, the general population. I had no clue what dirty power was. Gail Cohen had never heard of dirty power until she was diagnosed with breast cancer. For her, it all centers around this school, La Quinta Middle School in Palm Desert, California. A lot of teachers there were getting sick with cancer. I'm convinced 100% that there is a problem at that school um, that is causing people to become ill with cancers. There are too many types of cancers and too many cancers there for it to be more than a coincidence. It's picking up radio frequencies, picking up the high frequency transients, dirty power. So epidemiologist Dr. Samuel Milham studied the school. And the teachers at Lakinta Middle School, their cancer incidence, that's new cases per year, is almost three times what you'd expect. He says it's because of dirty power. Why? Well, we did a, did a comprehensive study measuring... Uh, high-frequency voltage transients, also known as dirty power, in the outlets in the classrooms. And there's a nice dose response. The higher the levels of the dirty power in the classrooms, the more likely the teacher was to have cancer. But the school district and the state studied the school and disagree. They say their test results show the school is safe. Expect to see more cancers because nothing's changed. The kids are still being exposed and the teachers are still being exposed. Back at Rosa's house, she doesn't care about the debate. She's not Looks waiting like for scientists to agree. Okay, let's check the dirty electricity on this circuit. Wow. That's high, guys. We're talking 800 in this room, too. She's having Kevin install filters, hoping they'll clean up her home. He promises it will make a difference. Now we'll put a filter in. And it drops it to 7780. Um, which is still high. We're going to have to put more filters throughout the house to get these readings down lower. She just wants to sleep better and reduce any risk that may be out there for her family. It's scary, you know. I don't know what this stuff is doing to my children. You know, what, what, how is this going to affect them later on in life? You know, so hopefully we'll get this resolved so, so they don't have to pay the price. Right. Next on 16 by 9. I am ecstatic. I can't wait. If I have a chance to meet uh, Barack Obama, I, I would ask for his view on how what he has planned for the, the next four years differs from what's been going on in the United States in the past. Did you miss something? Watch our show 16 by 9 online at global16by9.com.